you know, I'll tell you, this week I have had my share of annoyances. And one of the things I'm getting from all of it is the, the more I find, whether I'm looking for them or they find me, the more I find and come across people who need me to be patient with them, and I am patient with them, the more luck I have. It, it, well, I mean, it's, it sounds kind of like, it's like, Jesse, you're saying that the more unlucky you get, the more lucky you are. And it's like, well, uh, in a sense, maybe. It's like, you know, you're driving down the road and there's all, you know, some putz thinks he owns the road. Right. You know, and, and so he's taking up space or he's, you know, traveling right along the same side as another car. So no one can pass and traffic gets jammed behind this dweeb that won't, you know, like that <clears throat> sort of stuff. I, of course, I never think those derogatory things. I never want to use those mean fight sounding words when I'm watching some dweeb act like he owns a road. <clears throat> I don't think those types of thoughts, but when it's happening, you know, the, the more I just say, you know, that's all right. I, I Okay. You know, I, I found a way to do something good today, which was just forgive someone. And nobody knows that I did it. The guy does, you know, the, the buffoon uh, <clears throat> doesn't know that I forgave him. And I, I continue on my life. And in other ways, I just get lucky. It, it shows up in other places where I really wanted it. Because, you know, it really wasn't that important for me to, you know, get to McDonald's in time to get my shamrock shake. You know, that, like that, th that wasn't, you know, so important. But then something else that was important to me did come up. Well, I don't need to say that. I'm just saying it, it doesn't matter. what it could, it could have been a business deal. It could have been, you know, a factory getting back to me earlier rather than later or promptly rather than slowly, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm, I'm thrilled and happy that I have opportunities for things to go badly because they give me an opportunity to, I, I don't know, be nice and create good, well, some people call it good karma, but that, I, that that's almost sounds religious, but Sowing and reaping is a, is a biblical concept, I suppose, if karma means that. Planting good seeds in the ground. Anyhow, um, I'm, I'm really, really exhausted. I'm coming off of... I'll tell you what. Uh, one thing we've got going on is guys.com. You've got to go follow social media to see what's developing, but we're getting really close to an open... I, I just went to the sample factory today, the, little, the sample maker. I mean, they, it, they do all this, this sourcing and, and stuff, and I go in there and argue with them and, and tell them what the designs are, and I like this stitching there, and then let's change this. And, and they, they do this design thing, and they find sourcing, and they find factories to work with. I, I just came back from the factory today, that, that, that factory place, and we've got a hoodie, we've got sweats, we've got gym shorts, and we've got this awesome custom t-shirt that I designed that's already t-shirts coming first. So you've got to follow it on social media. But, you know, here I am over in Asia, and I walk into this factory, and you know, I, I tell them very specifically, this is what the design needs to have. We draw it out, and then they do it wrong. And you could get mad, and you can say, Psh! but after all, I'm looking for people to forgive, right? Because it comes right, it comes back. So I explained to the lady very politely, uh, you know, because I, I, I told, you know, the people in the office, you can't design it this way. It won't work if you design it that way. They said, but you're wrong. That's not, you're going to have problems. And I'm like, why am I hiring you to design my clothes or am I telling you how I want it designed? I tell you what I want and you put it into the computer and I pay you money. That's, that's how it works. It's a very simple little arrangement we have here. Why are you telling me that my designs are wrong? If, if I want you to invent an idea, if I want you to, to sit and brainstorm and put together some wonderful thing for me, then I'll just take something you already designed and throw my label on it. But that's not what I want. I want, I, I mean, I'm really hoping uh, that, that we can have my designs and you can just help me put it in the computer and, and get the first sample made. 
and are like, huh. And I'm like, you're thinking too much. You know, your, your opinion about my product doesn't matter. I just want you to design the thing. So, I, you know, now some candid feedback is good. You know, if, if you design something and they tell you that's a problem, you need to listen. And so I do. But sometimes they're right and sometimes they're wrong. And I bet I just explained. I said, I said, you think too much. I said, once, once you've got the design, don't think about it. This is a problem with manufacturing in Asia. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll give you a very practical example. This guy has this, um, this little gauge, like an instrument, like, like it measures things. It's like a little piece of metal and it's got like, you know, millimeters and centimeters on it. And it's got a little scale. So you, you, you use it to measure whatever you measure. And there it shows you whether, you know, you're one centimeter, two centimeters, and then the millimeters. Well, the design, what like part of the design instructions, including the sample, had this ruler, this little measurement thing with centimeters and millimeters stamped as in like you could, a blind person could feel it with their fingers, you know, stamped into this little piece of metal. And the factories, and it was stamped and then it was painted. So if the paint wears off, you can still see it because it's stamped into like the, the physical shape of the metal has changed. Uh, for those of you in Read Rapids who don't, who want to hear everybody else learn what stamped means. So it's stamped and that's the sample and that's the design and it's stamped, right? Okay, wrong. The guys at the factory said, you know, the factory in China. <clears throat> oh, I don't see why they're stamping it. You just paint it. And so they painted it and it's wrong. And and the customer, which is like a multi-million dollar company, who's ordering, you know, the, the product he's ordering, the, the merchandise is like a hundred thousand of these. The customer says to the factory, um, the design says stamped, the sample we gave you was stamped. And you just painted it instead of like imprinting it into the metal. And the factory tries to argue with the guy and tell him why he's wrong. When the factory is the one that didn't follow instructions. See, they had a better idea. And, and the factory is wrong because the paint will wear off and then you don't know how it's measured. And in their world where they're used to everything breaking and everything being replaced really quickly and they don't know how to give stuff a sledgehammer test. They, they don't know that. So they're having a better idea, quote unquote, and their better idea isn't all that informed. And so, you know, this is a problem. So I said to the lady at the design factory today, uh, you know, don't think because that's not your job. And this is the problem, you know, with manufacturing. I said, I don't, I don't mean you're not important. I don't mean I don't value, value you. you. You do great work. You are important. But I do, I, I, I value what you do. I don't value you having a better idea after the fact. So just don't think so much. And I said, even in America, you have an American designer here, an American factory there. The American factory will say, oh, this is what you want. Okay. And they'll do it. And they won't ask why. And they won't think. They understand your job, my job. And it all works very smoothly. It's not about someone being better than the other person. So that was a, see, that was a positive conversation. And that's one of the things that I'm over here in Asia doing constantly. And I, I told this lady, I said, tell all your customers. And she smiled and she was happy. And of course, I also added, <clears throat> I really like it when you tell me my ideas are bad, but because, because that means nobody else is going to try my idea because they all think it's crazy and I'm going to have the awesome product. And on that note, I've got to get to the point. As irritating as it is to have an artistic perfectionist on your team, it's much more irritating to have to go back and remake substandard average designs. Of course, you may have to ditch your pride in order to put up with that annoyingly unique and creative guy upstairs, but part of teamwork means putting up with your teammates as they help the team succeed. Movers and shakers and perfection-obsessed designers make the waves that make the motion we harness. That theory is easy to grasp, but staying focused with every millimeter of work under scrutiny is reserved for champions. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.